Hello everybody, my name is Talsky and today I'm going to make another version of a video which I just made not too long ago and to do with likes and dislikes and the reason I'm going to remake this video is because someone told me well, not in the chat on YouTube but in person they said you know, don't do this friggin like 44 minutes who the hell is going to sit there and watch this video for 44 minutes? I mean, the first part of the video was funny and all but they reckoned that I should have basically cut that out and made another video and separated it all because that was just funny on its own, not with the rest of it, just make the other stuff was boring. But anyway, because of the length of the video, it was quite boring, and even I got bored after about 2 minutes 30 seconds, so I've got to condense this down to 5 minutes so you know it's short, and you can put up with it for then. Now to make this video better, I've already prepared some things so I can go and read it, and then I can do something. Now this is my strategy for this video. And I think this would be a good idea to tell you what I'm doing for strategies during my videos and you might learn from what my strategies are in case I grow to be get bigger than what I am and stop being a burden on YouTube. Anyway, here we go. So the first part of the, this video we're going to do likes. Now in the likes part of the video we're going to talk about quality, we're going to talk about your energy, we're going to talk about supportiveness of the games. <clears throat> now, good content. I'm going to use this screen to display some really good content so you get an idea of what it is. And I'll freeze it. How many frags you got? <laughs> yeah, like Quake. Oh, dude, we need to play Quake again sometime. <laughs> yeah, Quakecraft is on the server too, that's right. It's been so I'm talking long about since Quake, Quake. Time. Quake, Quake. Wait! Hey, someone's got our flag! Someone's got our flag in oh, here! Flag. Don't let them through! Drake, we have their flag, so we can't do anything. Where, who has their, or... Wait. Wait, there's little things you forgot to give you speed and stuff. That's awesome. No! He's gonna cap it! No! Steal that flag. Wait, Blue has 300 gone. points. We have 30. We're come on, come on. Good. I think Where the are compass you? in Where my. Are I'm you? running away, I'm running away. How about you? I'm being chased by five of them. Well, just, just two. Just keep sprinting and jumping, keep sprinting and jumping. I'm using one of my abilities. Really? That Someone just picked raised. up our flag again. Greg, if this is where I die, make sure to tell Harmon <laughs> that he didn't get to play with us today. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Friend! And now it's unfrozen, so what you just saw then would be a piece of good quality content that you want to have on your channel and this is what you want to make as much as you can of. Now, that kind of content can be hard for you as beginners to start making. Hell, I'm a beginner and I've been on YouTube for years and I haven't even made any content. Now, a reason for this, I, I shouldn't go into this detail, but the reason I haven't been making content so much is because when I originally started on YouTube, my videos were like 5 gigs and I'd take a couple of days to a couple of weeks to upload one video. And that's for the videos I used to upload. Currently, it takes me a couple of hours, three hours at maximum. That's how long it took that um, video that I uploaded the other day to upload that. But it costed a little bit of time to render it out and get it ready. Okay, so being full of energy. I'm sorry, Markiplier, I'm going to pinch some of your stuff to explain to people what I mean by full of energy because this is what you get when you're full of energy and this is what makes a really really good YouTuber. Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to The Evil Within. I'm continuing straight on from where I left off trying to find my lost lads and a pile of skulls and body parts. Oh, I'm sure they're fine. Yeah, what, what could have happened to them? They could... Oh boy, well, I don't know what to say but I still see JoJo's little thing over there. Is there no way out of here? Wait a minute, what's going on? Wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. Wait. Well, there's no way out of here! What is that? Is that a thing? Can't seem to go that way. What's going on? Wait a minute. Are they in here? Are they just under the pile of bodies? Am I just gonna be stuck here in perpetuity? Oh, did I get a bug? Oh, I got a bug, didn't I? What the hell is going on? I thought it was weird because when I jumped in the hole, it's- Oh. That wasn't there before! Oh, you sassy Sue. Oh, you're all so sassy. Oh, you think you're gonna mess with me? Huh? Don't you know exactly how pro I am? Let's make sure I'm reloaded here. 
Good. Good. That guy doesn't seem to be too happy about my situation. Hey, oh, I got the guy behind you. Nope. Oh, hello. Whoa! Obviously, I just froze it again. That's Markiplier. Now, I'm going to link to his video that I pinched from, and I'm going to explain to you why it is that this is really good. The reason this is really good is if you have blank spots in videos where you basically don't talk and you'd be boring, basically, like, you're talking slow and you're struggling to think, that's when people get bored. But when you're full of energy like this, that's when people want to stick around and be a part of the video and like you and subscribe to you. This is what makes you get the likes, this is what makes you get subscribers. Now, in a minute, in a sec, we're going to go on to dislikes, or maybe we could talk about supportive roles. Okay? Okay, so, the supportiveness of games is when you come along, you review a game, and I'm going to make a description, uh, I'm going to put in a video here, when I do my click, to show you what supporting a game looks like, and what that will do for you is it will help you get likes and subscribers if you do it in this way, in this manner, but don't try to copy other people's original content and make it your own. What you do, you make your own independent content using your skills and abilities and build up on them as quickly as you can so you can start climbing the ladder and be up the top in no time. So... Been talk about Baldi if you want. Some proud player you were caught up in. Baldi or some such. Damn, you'll get around. Welcome back to the Wasteland. After seven years of development, Fallout 4 is finally here. It's Bethesda's most ambitious title to date. A lot has changed in the world of video games over the past seven years, but war? War never changes. I played through Fallout 4 and finished the main campaign on PC, and wrapped up my first official playthrough after over 60 hours. I did it wrong! I feel like I rushed myself, and honestly, there is so much I'm anxious to try. And I'm dying to play again with a new character, and make different decisions, and explore new parts of the Boston area. And that's a really great feeling to have, to want to spend more time in the game because you know there's more great stuff there to be discovered, and there's alternate ways to play. I also played up until level 25 on the PlayStation 4. And the funny thing is, in both games, I played totally different quests, except for the introductory missions, and I tried a few different character builds, and I know that there is still so, so much that I've missed. Does the game have issues? Certainly. Absolutely. It has bugs. It has some design and control decisions that are a bit on the wonky side, but truly, all the negative things I can say about this game pale in comparison to what has been accomplished here. It is a complex, beautiful, and emotional action RPG that is rivaled by few games. Let's get started. Okay, so that video you just now that you watched would have been a review for a video game that someone made. Now the reason this is so good for your channel is because they're supporting a game and it's a game that they're seeing with their eyes and you're pointing out the good things and the bad things about the game you've noticed so far and if you find a bug, like, probably not in this video but if it was in that video okay that's cool. Uh, if you find a bug, they sometimes say this happens a lot putting the game down but they say it doesn't matter the rest of the game makes up for more than what this bug is. So the bugs can be there to say, you know, this might affect the game in some way, but the rest of the game makes up for the, what this bug does. So that's a good thing. Okay, moving on to the dislikes. Dislikes are for a few different reasons. Now I'm going to go with the first reason. Your video content is boring. Now the reason your content is boring is it's too bland. Let's just say, if I go back to the other video, it was bland. I was always sitting in the middle. Now, the reason I was sitting in the middle is because this room is pretty tight. I had to rearrange it just enough so I could sit to the side of the green screen and I set up the green screen so then there's less blandness so I can put something there so you guys can see what I'm talking about rather than, you know, try to explain it. Like, remember how... I, oh, I, I like that... It was funny, okay? When I was like, OH MY GOD! Showing you guys that, that was a bit of a joke, but other than that, I, I will admit, 
any of you photographer guys are probably going to say this is a pretty good spot to be in because of the rules of apes or whatever it was for videos. I didn't even realise that till just now. Just because my camera tells me I'm doing the rules of apes. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. So quality wise, your video has to be top notch quality or it's going to be down the toilet hole. Now to describe boring and quality, I'm going to take some videos off of my channel and probably other people's channel just to show you a description of quality. Now that's boring side, I'm going to show you the boring side but I don't really want to show you the boring side but I might as well and I'll show you the quality side which is where people like to say, oh, I'm so damn good, I got good quality content on my channel. Now, the person I'm going to use is someone that was a bragging kid, and he kept saying his quality, con his content's better than mine, and his quality was quite terrible. And you'll see what I mean. It's His video quality content can be kind of interesting, and make it not so boring. His quality is worse than how boring his video is. His bo the boring side of his video is more enjoyable than the quality side. But his quality is low resolution. Here's the video. Hi, this is JTH Bruce Mike up here for another video for you today. And I'm just going to cut down this tree. Wow. So beautiful. But... Um, yeah, so, um, I'm just doing, like, a little tree survival, like, all I have is this little tree, and yeah, I'm gonna do tree survival, so, let's just, what's that? <sighs> what is it? It's a chicken, it's a chick, what? What am I gonna do? Oh my god! Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna kill it, whatever it does, whatever it does. Uh, I need to change the sound a bit higher. Yeah, that's okay. Let's change the sound. Okay, so, um, yeah, let's just check it out. Well, what? What the hell? Ah, what is this? What is this? Oh, it's just my chickens. Oh, that's, that's kind of boring, I guess. It's just chickens. Wait, what was that? What the? Oh my god. Oh my god. What am I gonna do? Chicka. Yeah, chicka. Call it a chicka. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you like it. Just mind the lag because my computer's really hot right now. And yeah, um, please like. And I might give you this map to download. And yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, so that was one of the videos off of his channel. I will link to his channel just to be respectful and everything. Even though it's probably not respectful to point out the guys with the worst um, quality videos. But you never know. This guy might grow into someone better in the future, but at this point in time, he's not that good. He's got content on his channel that he brags about, but the thing he has to learn is to stop bragging. He's got to take the criticism. If he can't take criticism, he shouldn't even be on YouTube. Hey, I take criticism all the time, you know what? I looked at the dislike today. Now, because I'm not used to looking at the dislikes, I thought to myself that I'm, I'm shit. I put myself down in a little awful way. And then I thought about it and looked at the funny side. I was thinking to myself, hmm, maybe it was my mum. Maybe that's who disliked it because she didn't like the part which she done out. And that's, well, she knew I was making a video, kind of, because she already knew I bought the pizzas. Her way of saying thank you was what she did in the video. Anyway, the last two parts of this video are the knockers. And the reason I say knockers is they're people that are trying to bring you down. They're the people that want to be above you and by any means necessary they're going to get there and that's by thumbing you down on all your videos without even watching them. 
without even caring. They just don't want you to be ahead of them. They want to be better than you. These are people that you call your rivals or your enemy, and the reason you call them your enemy is because they don't like you and they just want to bring you down. Hey, treat them like your friend, let them be the enemy because in the end they're going to look like the jerks for doing the disliking. You look at their content and you be judgmentative on the right level. You don't judgment on a level where you're saying their quality content is all crap. So, that's a knocker for you. Now, honesty. For you, if you're not an honest person, say you're like that other guy I just showed a little bit ago, and you keep saying, your content's so damn good, you're going to lose subscribers, you're going to lose uh, people that like your channel, you're going to have a lot of dislikes. You're just asking for trouble. Honestly, you you got to be nice to people. you got to be respectful of people. You don't go on YouTube being a bragging douche or a bully. you got to be nice. Now, if there's a bully bullying you, don't be mean to him. Just be nice. Agree with him, whatever. Try to be friends with the bully. If he doesn't want to be friends, he's going to look like the jerk. You're going to look like the better guy. That gets your attention. Whereas if you go about it the wrong way, you're going to lose attention. you got to look like the tough guy. And I mean, the tough guys, they've already made it on their way. And they're really good at what they do. They might get dislikes, but you know what? It's from the people that don't like them. Well, anyway, guys, I hope this video covers what I was talking about in the first video. And I hope that you learned something from this video. And to all you guys I've introduced from, thank you. And sorry I kind of didn't, didn't ask beforehand. But uh, at least I'll link to your videos, if that's fair enough. But in the end, I'm going to say thank you and goodbye for now. i got to go. Have some fun. Have some fun.